And now Summer shall say a few words she's prepared in memory of her father. My dad thought he was the funniest man on the planet. I always said Russell Howard was funnier. On Saturdays, he used to make us killer mac and cheese. I prefer Jamie Oliver's. In the shower, he'd sing at the top of his voice. I told him we'd never be Ed Sheeran. But when Kira Mae Johnson called me a freak, he went round to her house and blasted her. And all the Johnsons. He was one man on his own. Fell to uh, one of you. I said this was a bad idea. But to me. Keep going. Brilliant. What are you doing here? Never mind, it's ruined anyway. I know that we're here to talk hell plates and stuff. Oh, all those Hindu horrors. Funny sachets, naughty novelties, no tar. <laughs> oh, well, that suits me just fine. Um, no, what I was saying was I'm glad that we've got this time to be on our own together. I know. I've got so much to tell you. <gasps> yeah, me too. Um, there's something that I've been meaning... Oh! Oh, talking of naughty novelties, what are you doing here? Uh, you said you were bringing someone from the factory. I thought if she picks Sean, he's gonna need another room. How amazing is he? Thank you. It's a shame to waste it. <laughs> <laughs> tell me you're not gonna do what I think. Well, what you've been too spineless to do for months. But you can't tell her. Not here. You. People say that money talks. All they ever said to me was goodbye. Famous man said that. Who? Seconds away. Round two. Stuff the arts and flowers. Stuff anything like effort. Send this lot out and she'll be put in my hands. Well, I'm not. What's this? The wedding is off and it's staying off. And this kind of lazy stunt just reminds me why. Do you mind telling me what you're ranting on about? Wedding invitations. You are. Awkward. <sighs> Idiot. I forgot to cancel the order, and I paid the company extra to send them out. You mean this isn't some elaborate apology kind of thing? <laughs> well, clearly he knows he'd be wasting his time. Now, do you mind telling that shower out there before they start dusting off the fascinators? <sighs> Dad. See what I mean? Goodbye. Adios. Harry be flaming dead. So have you thought about what you're going to do with your scar yet? Jez, who works the door at Alabama's, has got his tattooed into a shark. What? Why? I'd rather just forget about it. I say, if it's a war wound, that is. Should I? Oh, no, it's just me. Oh, hi, Michelle. Tell him she made was here. It's not fair. Uh. We're really sorry, you know, everyone at the bistro. The world's full of nutters. I just got unlucky. Yeah, I know. But... Really? It could have been anyone. You look about as bad as I feel, mate. I'm sorry things got out of hand. Out of hand. That young lad nearly died. You don't have to lay it on thick. I can't get his face out of my head. Plus, I could have really done without the heat right now. Oh, well, it's only for the inconvenience. You know what I mean. Nobody likes the police sniffing around. We'll have to tread carefully. You're still in. <laughs> it's a one-off, and I swear, Michelle won't even know. 
not like I'll be propping up your bar. She's that close to leaving me. A few weeks, mate, and I'll be out your hair. For good? For good. Ah, uh, Rich. Listen, all this, uh, this aggro, me and you, it, it's just a stress, yeah? Keeping up the lies, keeping Michelle happy, keeping the business afloat. I used to thrive on that pressure. Hey, you still do. You just need a little boost, huh? In one day, Mary. Tongues will start wagging. Oh, I, I, I'm just covering. I, Anna's gone to the dentist. You're like Renaissance women. If I walk into the hospital later on, will I find you doing open heart surgery? Oh, flatterer. <laughs> no, don't stop. Oh, I actually do. I, I've got something for you. I, I, I almost forgot. <laughs> Ask not what Barlow Grimshaw can do for me, but what I can do for Barlow Grimshaw. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm gobsmacked, thank you. <laughs> I took the liberty of distributing some around town, you know, medical centre, job centre, a few in Kevin Webster's breakdown truck. <laughs> a fully-fledged ambulance chaser. I could kiss you. <laughs> well, if you must, you must. <laughs> oh, you. oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you were right, we shouldn't have come. Oh, no, we just skulk away like we're ashamed. Yeah, they'd love that. Bigots one, true friends nil. Barlow Grimshaw in it to win it. Specialists in personal injury, criminal defence and medical negligence where there's a blame, there's a claim. I didn't agree to this. Business partners? I don't know anything about this, Billy. He's put them in the back of a church. He's so crass. We tried the polite route. Now I'll be direct. Much as you want to make this all about you, you're not the victims here. Summer is the victim. Geraldine. And she doesn't want to see you either. She's made that clear. Geraldine, please, not today. This won't take long. Angus. Someone's waiting for you. Geraldine, if you just listen... No, you listen. My husband has a heart condition. Today's been... difficult enough. If you harass us one more time, I'll call the police first, and then your bishop. Understood? This will do me. I'll still get a Christmas card from him. It's a card to mum and dad. We're done grieving. I don't... I don't blame you. We were in it together. And it's ancient history. I'm meant to be lying low and... It... Uh, do you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to need more. This won't tie me over. For someone who doesn't do that muck anymore. I had to say that, didn't I? The truth is, I've not slept either. The blood. Every time I close my eyes, I see it pumping out his chest. Oi, oi. Right. But not on me, eh? Huh? Oi! Oi! Sorry, mate. Watch it, will you? Don't touch me. Richard Curlis, I'm arresting you on suspicion of supplying controlled drugs. You're and finished. Oh, you do not have to say anything. You they may arm your defence if you do not mention when questioned you something you would like to rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Whatever. 
Oh, babe, that looks lush. Can I try some? Mm-hmm. Oh, is it, is it goat's cheese? Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Stuff it. Never been any good at keeping secrets. <laughs> You're my bridesmaid. My best mate. Yeah, we said we weren't going to choose. We're having a baby. <laughs> We couldn't be happier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a break it too, but she's had a better offer. On to a spa with Maria. Maria? Yeah, well, she's a bridesmaid, isn't she? Always that a touchy subject, because I know if I was a sister, I'd be a bit miffed. <laughs> it's the uh, the golden... Golden triangle? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right. Sounds top dollar to me. And then Aidan got in his motor and he sped off after him, but... I think he might be a bit too late. For what? <laughs> to stop even maxing out his credit card, obviously. Oh, yeah, right, nice one. Cheers, David. You're welcome. It's just one thing that I don't get. How come you didn't say anything? Well, we've only just found out ourselves. <laughs> but you didn't even crack on that you were trying. We weren't. We were just lucky, weren't we? <laughs> I mean, I know you're supposed to keep you done for 12 weeks and all that, but... Well, I couldn't lie to your face, hon. I'm not made that way. <laughs> so, we are bringing the wedding forward. I just want our big day to be about me and you. <laughs> Not about this little bump. <laughs> well, it's brilliant. Little baby. <laughs> but this isn't right, you know. Um, tonight should be about you two. Oh. No, honestly, either. it's not like a bump back or anything, so... Just you two have a good time and I'll see you when you get back. Oh, well, at least finish... No, honestly, it's fine. Honest. <laughs> wow. You'd expect a mate to be more pleased, wouldn't you? Oh, I did spring it on her. Look, Ale, I'll see if I can get her back. I don't want your night ruined. <laughs> you are just never off duty, are you? Mm-mm. <laughs> Where's your guardian angel today? Catching up on a beauty sleep, I suppose. The little blonde. Sat there all night, eyes like swimming pools. Hey, she was upset. Sinead? Sinead was here last night. Yeah, and this morning. What, he deserves to know. And you weren't going to tell me. Fizz, stop treating me like I'm nine. <sighs> Maria, wait, I am stop so it. sorry. Stop it, Aidan, I'm not doing this again. So what are you going to tell her? I watched Liam growing up without a dad. I won't wish that on any child. It wasn't planned. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. You look shell-shocked. I, I still love you. Yeah. Well, this is the end of the line for us now. I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, well, you did. Do you know what you'll laugh, but I thought that me and you might have kids of our own one day. Me too. Oh, we're done now. And sort yourself out, Aidan. If only for that baby's sake. Oh, I wanted the ground to open up and swallow me. You should have punched him in the face. I'm a feminist! The thing was, he didn't care about my feelings. What have I been telling you? And all he cared about was the printer's bill. Right. It's time to give Matthew Singh a ding a ling It's not so much them making me nervous, it's more the other way round. That's a new one on me. Well, it's something to do with the pitch of my voice. You know, when I get excited, it tends to veer on the high side. All right, and you've had much excitement in your life, then. I make them howl. Howl! <laughs> Well, if the, uh, if the offer still stands, I'd like to go out for that drink. <laughs> you crack me up. <laughs> I 
Adam Barlow. L.O.B. P.C. Professional Chancer. Great, aren't they? I'd love to take all the credit, but it's Mary's work. I know a few details are wrong, but it's the thought that counts, eh? Details? Like, uh, permission to use my name? Consent for me to join this... <coughs> this circus? I'm paid for with what, by the way? Scotch mist. Very funny. The circus is already moving towards profit, thanks to Mary's cards. The first client's due in any minute. So if you don't mind, make yourself scarce. Why don't you take a little tour of the workplace? Or, uh, stick the kettle on while I sit at it. Is that what you're looking for? Glorified tea boy. <sighs> Brass neck of it. You haven't even got a kettle, mate. Um, Mr. Waller? Yeah, you found us for that. I've got an appointment. Miss Summer Smellman, 2.45. I'm early. Sorry. That was a turnaround, getting a call from you. Yeah, well, Chess, they wanted to see you, so... Could have told you that yesterday. It saved you the bother. No bother. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Your angel. The girl with swimming pools for eyes. <laughs> I got you some Arnica. It's good for healing. You're the only medicine I need. Oh. Why don't you ever say anything like to me? I found your card at the back of St. Peter's Church. Do you know it? Hello? I want my friends. My shoulders. Half an hour? Her mum's gonna want me back. You were talking. So was Grandad. I'll be fine. Do I look like Shola's mum? The card says medical negligence. You're a specialist, right? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. You're gonna recommend us to your folks? There's only me. I want you to see my dad's doctors. They let him die. <sighs> the thing is, these cases, well, they cost. It's the thousands sometimes. I mean, you're only... I'm not a child. She's 12. All right, Summer. Didn't expect to see you, eh? I'm not some little kid. I've got a brain and I've got money. Or I will have, eventually. But if you don't want my business... Summer. We'll see you. But next time, bring an adult, yeah? Listen, um, have you got her address? Confidential. Look, Billy was a dad's ex-partner. He was meant to be a guardian, all right? Client files for staff eyes only. Fine. Where do I sign? If you're trying to drag me demented, it's working. I'm sorry. Hey, I've been saying that a lot lately. I've been at the police station. They pulled you in? No, I went to meet Rich. What did I tell you? No, I went to meet him and I took some plainclothes detectives along so they could <gasps> see him in action. They hauled him in and I had to go back and give a statement. Is that the truth? Because if you're not going to be straight with me. No, I have been. Look, Rich can say what he likes about me. About all the stuff we shoveled up our noses. It's his word against mine. But I had to do something. It was him or you. I don't want to lose you. You must be shattered. I'll run you back. Hi. 
Hello, who's that? Rich. I thought you'd have sussed by now. I'm not that easily intimidated. I'm confused. What are you doing here? And why do I need a patch test for this? No, you don't. Listen, I just wanted to speak to you without laughing boy listening in. Yeah, look, you were right about all that. I'm not Listen, I've just seen them together. Kissing? No, they weren't kissing, but they were intimate. He's a dead man walking. I thought you said I was being stupid. Yeah, you? well, that was before I saw him with my old two eyes cheating. Don't leave. Listen, don't get sad. Get even. The two of us are going to make him wish he'd never been born. Jenny wants more answers. We're back in Coronation Street tomorrow at 7.30 and 8.30. Next, continuing his new series, Piers Morgan meets another of America's notorious killer women. While on ITV2, the new boy Theo is ruffling some feathers, making moves on two of the girls on Love Island next. She is again. Talking about me and my shadow. I'm not going to apologise keeping my eye on you. What's that you got there? Playing butty for my lunch. Don't give me the face. I had some broccoli yesterday. You saw me with your own eyes. Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh, what are you looking at him for? You've got that date later. Matthew Singh is well fitter than that granddad. How do you know? You've never even clapped eyes on him. I Googled it. Yeah, well, um, I'm thinking of counselling. Don't you dare! If you don't have a go on him, then I will. Thank you. All right, what's this? Shopping at Fresco's? I know your shop shut, but even so. He's making a chicken curry tonight. From scratch, so he keeps telling me. All right. Cinnamon, cardamom, cumin. Right, no point me stocking this sort of stuff, cos people around here, they want pop-tarts and pork pies. They're not always on the same plate, though. <laughs> hey, guys, why don't you join me? Might make enough for a regiment. Uh, a bit short notice, isn't it? I might struggle getting a babysitter. Oh, no, I'm sure Rosie or Sophie will babysit, and anyway, I'd love a night off me from cooking. Oh, OK, then, well, you know? Excellent. You want to knock on, say, half six, quarter to seven? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've signed on the dotted. Made a few changes, obviously. Obviously. So, might as well get started straight away. You said you'd give me uh, summer's details. Uh, it's no point wasting time with minors, mate. You know, we can't conduct any legal work without the signature of a guardian. Yeah. Well, that might happen sooner than you think. Aye, aye. Mm-hmm. An address, a mobile number, and a file on my desk. There you go. The keys to the kingdom. Oh. Hello. Uh, Norris, I, I thought it'd be nice to send Chesney a get-well card. Oh, yeah, there, there's some on sale uh, uh, on the back shelf there, two for a pound. Right. Uh, you know, I, I'm toying with installing one of these uh, panic buttons. Oh, well, why don't you go the whole hog and opt for a panic room? Well, see, see, if, if a ne'er-do-well came barging in here, all I've got to do is press the button oh, and the police would descend like a flock of pigeons on a cheese pasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, all things considered, you do well to be on your guard. Right. N not busy today, Bethany. Not really. Uh, I wondered if I could ask you for some um, creative advice. Me? Hmm. I have a contemporary type floral and I'm struggling to make the colours work. Well, I can have a go if you like. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. You're a lifesaver. Come on, hand it over. Do not make me wrestle you to the ground for it. Well, steady on. Some of us are trying to work. Go on, dig deep. Wedding dresses don't come cheap, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> yes, you beauty. We've got a factory full of seamstresses. Why don't you get someone to run one up for you? Oh. It's good enough for Jenny. She wants designer. Only the best for our Eva. Uh, seriously, though, take it easy. We've got a load of expenses at the moment. 
Hey, stop worrying about your card, will you? It is in very safe hands. Mm -hmm. Hi. Dear. Well, you don't hang about, I'll give you that. Yeah, she wheels one man out, another one in. I didn't wheel him out, he chucked me. Well, that you do right. I mean, there's no point sitting on a shelf gathering dust, eh? Like I am. And me. Go on, get out there. Give it some welly. Oh, Mr Darcy, ten o'clock. Hope you like them. Oh, they're gorgeous. So are you. <laughs> Was that too cheesy? <laughs> Awkward. Johnny? I'd better get back to work. Yeah, of course. Um... Well, I'll see you tonight then. Peace for six. Mm -hmm. Got a lovely head of hair. Who's the keeper, that one? Yeah, well, we'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> you don't need me. You've done this dozens of times. Maybe, but I haven't got your flair. <laughs> Quite a hefty talent you've got there. I know you're only praising me to make me feel better about myself. Oh well, everyone knows I'm gullible enough to fall for it. Don't say that. Why not? I've been so stupid. I believed every word that Nathan said to me. It really isn't your fault. I mean, clearly he was a very accomplished liar. But thanks to your bravery in reporting him, he, he won't be able to do that to anybody else. Hope the courts see it that way. Have they set a date yet? Well, I I'm sure when the time comes, the judge and jury will see you for what you are. A brave girl with an open heart who made the mistake of trusting the wrong person. <laughs> I know it's going to be nerve-wracking, but it's good that you've got a chance to speak out. I want you to get the justice you deserve. <laughs> So stand up in that court and show Nathan and the rest of them that this time they've picked the wrong girl. Do you know, I've been magnificent today, me. Faster than the speed of light. Oh, wow. Aye, they're off her latest suitor. Keen as mustard and twice as hot. Mm, not afraid to splash the cash, is it? Yeah, Tim doesn't like ostentatious displays of affection. He's much more spontaneous. Mm. Tighter than a duck's backside, you mean? Mm. My Tyrone's idea of romance is making me a sausage butter. Hey, don't knock it. So he's off on a date with Matthew Singh. He's always fancy, though. He's killing me. Seen her go off with someone else. So do something about it. Like what? I already proposed to her again a couple of weeks ago. Look how that ended. Talk to her. Tell her the truth. <sighs> How's it going with your Oscar? You got your exam next week, haven't you? Yeah, not bad. You know what I'm like. Brain's the size of a planet. Yeah. Listen, Adam, we need to do something with this place. It doesn't exactly scream success, does it? It will, once we give it a lick of paint. Lick of paint? Drop a bomb and it start again. I want to talk some more about doing the NHS. I told you yesterday, you need to bring a responsible adult. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. OK, well, hey, you, you can talk to me. I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. OK, well, like, we can do that later, but first, why don't you sit down and let me help you? <sighs> Listen, Summer, I really liked your dad. And if someone hasn't given him the care he deserved, we need to nail him, all right? And listen, I'm really sorry about yesterday, me and Billy turning up to the funeral. But I tell you what, the way you read that eulogy, that was so brave. Whatever. OK, well, why don't I take some notes? <clears throat> Your office is so scuzzy. I thought solicitors were supposed to be loaded. Well, uh, that's the plan. You should tuck your trousers into your socks. Eh? In case of rats. Once my dad had a rat run up his trouser leg. Sounds like he was one for the tall tales, your dad. 
Okay. Why don't you tell me all about him? Oh, I think the worst thing must be knowing that he had to say goodbye to his little girl. Oh, filling up just thinking about it. I mean, I know someone's got her grandparents, but... They're a total nightmare. Oh, she must feel so alone. Oh. Right, I need, I need to answer this. Um, hello? Yeah. OK. Uh, what time are you thinking? Yeah, that's fine. OK. Right, see you then. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to go. That's the policewoman that's dealing with Bethany's case. They've got something they need to tell me. So. Again, thought Dev would have you slaving over a not stove. Oh no, that's his department. Yes. Just need a couple of eclairs for the brats. Oh. Bit of bribery can work wonders. <laughs> so come on then, what have you got there? Oh, bought myself a new dress. So, what do you think? The dress looks more like a top to me. <laughs> yeah, well, if you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> You're not planning on wearing that tonight, are you? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know we were getting glammed up. I ain't got anything. Well, stick some sequins on your tabard. You'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> ah, going somewhere fabulous. Not me, no. I'm trying to choose a honeymoon for Aidan and Eva. I'm footing the bill. Very generous of you. Go on, then. Budge up. And to tell you the truth, all this is bringing me down. How do you mean? Looking at honeymoons when me and Jenny. What happened between you two? I always thought you seemed really well suited. I blew it, didn't I? I'm a complete idiot. Yeah. You're a body language expert, Nozza. Hmm? What do you make of them two over there? Oh, well. Sitting close, aren't they, for, for mere acquaintances? That's what I thought. I'm going to go over there and bang the cheating heads together. No, no, stay where you are. We'll, we'll watch her. See how it turns out. Hmm. I knew there had to be a reason why he broke off his engagement. I, I told Jenny, but she wouldn't listen. Well, now we know why. Because he's doing her instead. <laughs> What do you think he would have done if Jenny would have said yeah when he proposed to them? Hmm. I suppose it, it would have carried on with both of them at the same time. <laughs> the dirty dog. Don't look now, but uh, we're being watched. Maybe we should continue this conversation in the back. Thanks for seeing me at such short notice. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Is um, Bethany upstairs? No, she's out at the moment. Um, sorry, but I've got some bad news. The CPS won't be pursuing a case against Nathan Curtis. Why? I'm afraid we simply don't have enough evidence. Is this because Bethany struggled when she was giving her statement? Well, that certainly hasn't helped. And, um, what about Nathan? There's not anything on his phone. Well, he's been very smart. Made sure all his messages sound innocent. No suggestion of any wrongdoing. Uh, the CPS doesn't have anything other than Bethany's word that she was in a coercive relationship. And the same goes for the accusation that she was passed around for sex. I'm so sorry. And, given we've got nothing on him, We've had to release him. Bethany's going to be devastated. What are you doing here? I've come to make sure you showed up. 
Look, I'm telling you, that Johnny is a snake and you're better off without him. Yeah, so you said now, do you mind? Him and Liz are at it. <laughs> no way. If you don't believe me, then ask Norris. We're just seeing them in the rovers all over each other. He's a single man now. He can see wherever he wants. Yeah, but I don't think it's a new thing. What? They're going on a dead posh holiday. They must have been together for ages. Rubbish. They went into the back because they were desperate to be alone. Well, if he's got her, why did he want me back? Well, because he's a sex maniac. So I'm telling you, you get stuck in with Matthew Singh. Because that Johnny is a cheating scumbag and you deserve better. Sometimes you need help with getting washed and dressed. You know, the usual stuff, no big deal. Right, well, it must have been tough on you. No, I was all right. I suppose nights could be a bit rough. Seemed to go on forever. When he was in pain, he tried not to show it, but I could always tell. So he'd stick on a DVD, stay up all night, binge watching. All right, we'll get you with the all-nighters. Bet school loved that, eh? <laughs> I'd get in late sometimes. And they'd be like, Skyver. I'd be like, whatever. Fell asleep in maths all the time. All right, well, it's not all bad then, is it? I'm the weird kid, the one who doesn't fit in. Hey, weird is good, if you ask me, all right? To be honest, it was all right looking after Dad. But when I had to stay home too long or I'd miss out on loads of fun stuff, I'd get mad at him. Hey, well, listen, no-one's going to blame me for that. When I was angry or sad, he'd always find a way to make me laugh. I miss him so much. So, did you know that lad who got stabbed? Well, everyone knows everyone round here. Well, how's he doing? Apparently, he's going to be fine. Still, it's a nasty business all that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to be rude, but I do need to take this. Oh. <laughs> it didn't take you long to get over my dad. <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. He done me. Yeah, but did you ever stop to ask why? Well, he told me he didn't love me. I think that's pretty clear, don't you? I mean, I know he changed his mind again, apparently, but that's hardly reassuring, is it? You didn't think to dig a little deeper. Is this because he's seen somebody else? <laughs> you said that? It doesn't matter who said it. Is it true? I can promise you, that's not why he ended it. You need to speak to him. Well, you obviously know more than you're letting on. Why don't you just tell me? I can't. Because it's not my secret to tell, OK? So, how's it going with the grandparents? Bet they aren't as cool as me and Billy. You're full of yourself. Mm. Sort of front, just like you. It hurt, you know, when you knocked us back. Don't lie, I heard what you said. Billy wanted to look after me, but you didn't. You said I should be sent to a kid's home. <sighs> no, Summer, no. That's not what I meant. That's not what I said. I said I didn't want to see you sent to a kid's home. It, it, was, a, it was just a joke. Yeah, well, it wasn't funny. <sighs> listen. Listen, Summer. Your dad loved you. The last thing he did for you before he died was to set you up with me and Billy. Shouldn't you at least consider that? You can't look after a kid. He's still live at home with your mum. At least I've got my own room at Grand's. I'll be in touch soon. See if you've made any progress in my case. Summer, wait. I'll, I'll walk you to the bus stop. No time. Better off on my own. You know, I was dead surprised to hear that you were seeing Johnny. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a nice enough bloke, but you know, what attracted you to him? I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> so why'd you split up? Do you know, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, je sorry, Jenny. Hang on, where are you going? Just sit tight, promise them. Won't be long. Aiden is going to lose his nose. <laughs> Well, it deserves everything he gets. Oh. 
Hi, babe. What do you think? Cool colour, isn't it? Well fit. Oh, come on, get in. Runs like a dream. Is this it? It's ours. <laughs> yeah, right. You were supposed to be buying a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, no, but I got a little bit distracted by this beauty. <laughs> How much was it? Oh, don't go worrying about that. It's only money, in it? Yeah, don't panic, babe. I just stuck it on your credit card. Hurry up and get ready. We're going to be late. Oh, and uh, do you know what? To tell you the truth, I'm not really in the mood. You will be once we get there. Anyway, it's your idea to go. I know. Will you, will you just ring them and say I don't feel very well? Oh, it's too late to back out now. Oh, do you know what? They won't be bothered either way. They'd probably prefer to be left on their own. They're very lovely, Duffy. Look, why are you making it such a big deal? It's just a meal with a couple of friends. Oh, well, then how come you're all dressed up then and smelling like a tart's boudoir? And I can't believe you've gone and paid $9.99 a bottle for that wine. Who are you trying to impress? I'll go on my own. <sighs> What's for tea? I'm starving. Um, I need to talk to you. DC Lee's been round. And? This doesn't reflect badly against you, so I want you to remember that. What's happened? The CPS have decided against taking Nathan to court. No. They haven't got enough evidence against him and there's just no way that they'd get a conviction. This is my fault. It isn't. I lost my bottle. I couldn't tell them everything they needed to know. Bethany, this isn't over. You could try again. I can't! I told them everything I could. Please, don't make me talk to the police again. They're here to help you, Bethany. They're here to help. I've no right to feel the way I do. But I can't stand to think of that Matthew Singh drooling all over her. Well, you obviously think the world of her. So how come you ended it? Go back there. Get out of my way, Sean. Do not make me knock you over. <clears throat> Miss Jenny Bradley on the rampage won't take no for an answer. I get it now. Yeah, suddenly everything makes sense. This is why you dumped me. Hey? You were seeing her on the side. Oh. Ah. I'll tell you what. I'll leave you both to it. You've got it wrong, love. You have treated me like dirt, Johnny. Oh, but Kate told me there was a reason for that, that I should ask you about your secret. I finished it. Because I love you. I was trying to protect you from me. You're not making any sense. I've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And Coronation Street will be back in half an hour. I'm sorry, I, I know it must be a shock. I... How long have you known? About a month or so. Well, how did you find out? Because I don't remember you being ill. Uh, I was out of sorts for a while, then Kate made me go to a doctor when I collapsed. I was your fiance, and you didn't trust me enough to tell me any of this. Well, I thought it might make you see me as <sighs> less of a man. Sorry. I've got to go. Oh, no, wait, wait, Jenny. Bethany left her phone in the shop, so I, I thought I'd drop it round. <laughs> I know what these teenagers are like. She'll, she'll be feeling like she's lost a limb. <laughs> the CPS are not taking the case. Oh, no. They haven't got enough evidence. They had to let him go. What's to stop him doing the same thing all over again? 
I told them as much as I could, but that wasn't enough. Oh, Bethany. Shona made a statement. Back me up. That wasn't enough either. I'm so sorry. Don't waste your sympathy on me. This is all my fault. Bethany, I have told you, stop saying that. No one thinks that for a second. I'm not brave like you are. I'm weak. <sighs> I took 30 years to speak up about what happened to me. 30 years. You are much stronger than you give yourself credit for. Nathan is going to get away with everything because I deserve what I got. Stop it. No one thinks that. What is it about me? Why did he choose me? It could have happened to anyone. And people like that know how to manipulate. I know what everybody thinks when they look at me. Darling, don't. Look at her. We all know what she's been up to. <laughs> no, don't, OK? You can't help me. No one can. All right. All right. Mary said you and Adam had set up shop in here. Hmm. Todd, it's minging. All it needs is a lick of paint and some decent furniture. It stinks. It's a mixture of damp, death and rat droppings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bought your card. Oh. <clears throat> Good luck, you'll need it. Oh, Trace, that is so nice. You shouldn't have bothered. So, last thing I heard, Adam, we're still looking for a guarantor. What mug fell for that? Don't know. Listen, if he's bullied my dad into it, he's not going to know what hit him. Mm. Hey, Craze, we're moving up in the world. I'm partnering a law firm. You've got your business in your flat, hmm? Collecting rent, it certainly beats working for a living. Mm. It's just a shame that Toya and Peter are moving into the Rovers. She is really going to have to smarten up her look if she's going to be a landlady. Oh, yeah, too right. I mean, you know, a bit of glamour wouldn't go amiss. Oh, you're not joking. Have you seen that vile cardigan she wears? I wouldn't give that to Eccles to use as a bed. But that flat, that's, that's going to be empty. Yeah? Why are you interested? Uh, might be. Oh, well, I can give you a look round later if you want. I've got a set of keys. Great, yeah, let's do it. Great, well, text me. Right. Well, a decent bottle of wine this, mate. Shall I open another one? Mm. I'll go for it. Yeah. I had you down as a blue nun kind of guy. Hey, don't knock the blue nun. I've had many happy night on that. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, it's Asha. Well, tell her it's grown-ups time. You'll see her tomorrow. Yeah, she wants to come home. They're supposed to be on a sleepover. Fall out of Poppy, waiting outside. Come quick, lad, setting fire to things. Right, best get a cab. I, I uh, best get going myself, then. Uh, don't you dare. There's a mini tiramisu in the fridge with your name on it. Ooh. How can I resist? Shop board, mate. You can tell she's in charge of pudding. Yeah. Won't be long. Take as long as you like. Mm. Sorry, I've uh, been helping myself. Be my guest. You sure you should, though? Under the circumstances? I'm sorry. I overheard you telling Jenny. Oh. I had an auntie who had MS. For a fair bit of the time. You wouldn't have known. Well, I still have the same version as me, then. They think it's relapsing, remitting. She led a pretty normal life. And you probably could, too. So, why did you end it with Jenny? What if it's worse than they've predicted? We were going to live together as husband and wife. She wasn't signing up to be my carer. Well, none of us know what we're signing up for, do we? You take a chance because you love someone. I love Jenny. So, I did what I thought was best for her. Well, tell her that and let her make up her own mind. Barbie's been on phone. She wants a car back. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm taking it back. Keep kicking well now. Well, it's too late for that now. It's a done deal. Oh, we'll blame it on pregnancy hormones. Tell them you weren't in your right mind. Well, you'd have to get rid of 
of your car anyway. Your car's not baby friendly, is it? Yeah, where are we going to put the baby in the boot? Well, say I've got to go to a business meeting, see a new client. You know, what would they think if I turned up in this? That you're a really fun guy who's in touch with his sensitive side. You had no right wasting my money like this. I handed you my credit card because I trusted you. Trust? Hmm? Don't you dare throw that in my face. And what do you mean by that? We're supposed to be a partnership, yeah? Sharing everything. If you don't want to do that, then what is the point in getting married, Aidan? Move. I don't know why they make jigsaw so complicated. If they made every piece the exact same shape and size, it'd be totally easy. <laughs> Genius. I know. It's already totally easy. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosie. You know, we should have phoned or texted you. Told you we didn't need you to babysit. Oh, it's cool. I was only going to practice my crown braid anyway. I can't believe my dad went out without you. You're so selfish. Yeah, well, you know, he shouldn't have to miss out, should he, just because I didn't fancy it. Well, how come you didn't want to go? Well, Erica, she'll be getting all glammed up. I just... I feel so plain and dowdy next to her. Well, the first time I saw Erica, I thought she was a drag queen. <laughs> I know it's daft, but since the accident, I just... Well, my confidence in what it used to be. My dad loves you for who you are. It doesn't matter to him if your legs aren't beach ready. Yeah, since my dad died, my mum's taken up amateur dramatics. Should have seen her playing Juliet. And she's in pretty good nick, but she couldn't pass a 14. Not even at a distance. Are you Googling? Sorry. Am I really that boring? No, of course you're not. No, um, I know I'm being rude, sorry. It's just, um, Johnny's just told me something. <laughs> That's where you just went? To talk to him? Look, if you and him still have something going on, then what are you doing here with me? Just using me to getting jealous. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, honestly, I can't believe you'd stoop that low, Jenny. Using me to get to him. It's honestly not like that. Look, Will, you can't just... Yeah, hey, get off me! Hey, hey! Dad, no! Keep your hands off her. Stay out of this. You can't risk getting hurt. Yeah, it's none of your business, mate. So why don't you just back off? <gasps> oh, I... This could be a great little learner. I am determined to make a go of it. I'm sure you will. I was going through some um, law books today. Mm -hmm. It felt so good to get my brain working again, you know? Yeah, well, as you only use it for the power of good. Mm hmm That it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Obviously channeling Martha Stewart again. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want some seconds, make sure you get it before Pat comes home. You know, the way he shovels it down, I'm surprised he's not the size of an house. <laughs> Oh, a moderately sized maze, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> well, this is what I like, you know, when it's just me and you. Mm, me too. And we don't get enough time to ourselves. Mm. Which is why I think we should get our own place. Yeah? Yeah, the flat above the florist has just become available. Tracy says she's going to show us around later. Great! Yeah. Big boys now, Billy. It is time to fly the nest. I can't believe you just did that. Don't want that little tow rag disrespecting you. This place has gone at the dogs. I'm sorry, Matthew. It's not like my dad. He's just, he's been under a lot of pressure lately. And. Yeah, well, it's not my problem, is it? And by the way, I think I'll be taking my business elsewhere. You can't. You're under contract. Just watch me. Yeah, you two deserve each other. I'm really glad you finally told her the truth. I'm sorry. I've been a total idiot. Why wouldn't you just let me be there for you? I will, now, I promise. All I want is for you to come back to me. It's not as simple as that. <laughs> How do you mean? You really hurt me, Johnny. You looked me in the eye and you told me you didn't love me. I'm not sure we can ever get the trust back. Yeah, 
Lord Chesney seemed a bit brighter tonight. Oh, I'm not surprised after that goodie bag we sent in. That's enough to put a smile on anyone's <laughs> face. <laughs> Licorice torpedoes, jelly babies, sherbet dib dabs, all the old classic. Mm, I just picture him now, running riot on that ward, absolutely high as a kite on E numbers and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Got to admit, though, his face was a picture. Oh, I couldn't believe it, could he? <laughs> oh, oh. All right? Not really, no. OK, I'm sorry I kicked off. It was a bit of a shock, that's all. Look, and I know I shouldn't have said what I said. I do trust you, of course I do. I'm just sick of feeling like second best, David. Uh, but you're not. You're the boss when we're at work, and you're the boss when we get home. I hate having to ask you for money. It feels like I'm begging. It's like we're living in the 19 pigging 50s. Look, why don't I get you a joint credit card? No, I, d I don't want you to feel like you have to do that. No, no, no I want to. You should be able to buy stuff without even asking. OK, I mean, that would be brilliant. OK. Same again? Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay. What have a pot to pee in by the time I'm finished with him? <laughs> I hope you can understand why I did what I did. I wanted you to be my wife, not my nurse. You put me through all that pain and heartache just because your masculine pride had taken a bit of a knock. <sighs> you thought you were invincible and it turns out you're human like the rest of us. I'm a lot older than you. But I thought I'd have a few years before the age gap got more obvious. People will think you're taking your poor old dad out. <laughs> so how long do you think you can keep this quiet? Don't know. Liz overheard us before, but I've asked her to keep it to herself. Rana knows. Rana? I had a funny turn and she helped me out. I haven't even told Aiden yet. Couldn't bring myself to. I don't want to see that look of pity on my own son's face. It'll be sympathy, not pity. There's a world of difference. You know, you need to start to see this for what it is. It's a medical condition. It's not a weakness. I was going to stand up in front of a load of people and make my vows to you. In sickness and in health. So, now you know what you know. Would you still say it? Stick that engagement ring back on my finger and I'll tell you. <laughs> Take it, you two are back on then. Too right. Right, so this is it. You sure Peter and Toya won't mind people just nosing around the flat while they're away? Well, technically, it's my flat. I'm the landlady. I can do what I like. I need to be a party pooper, but I'm fairly certain there are rules about those sorts of things. Oh, rules are for wusses. Mm, I can see you now, popping round in your negligee when the mood takes you, stealing our box sets. Am I right to check out the bedrooms? Yeah, yeah, help yourself. How come you're not moving in? Well, duty calls, Todd. Somebody's got to look after my dad. Yeah. Rent free, is it, number one? I whiz in a few quid for bills and food and that, thank you. Yeah, you're a saint. Aren't I just? <laughs> so, what do you think? Yeah, you know what's improved a lot since me and Sarah lived there? Saying that, we had now. Hmm. When you used to live off the smell of an oily rag, as my gran used to say. Hmm. I'm thinking back, it's like... It's like looking at somebody else's life. Bedrooms are a decent size. Mm hmm Yeah, it would have been perfect for summer. Mm. Oh, he's a little monkey, that lad. He's bog-eyed with tiredness and he fights every time. What's all this? I'm making you a mood board. Well, I usually do it digitally, but I thought you'd prefer cutting stick. A what? You know, it's where you're putting together concepts and stuff. You can't let your legs bring you down, Anna. Yeah, well, it's not just myself I'm bringing down, is it? Your dad must think I'm a right miserable so-and-so. Right, have you ever heard of treggins? No, I can't say I have. Actually, cluts might be more you. 
Look, do you know what, Rosie? This is really kind of you, but... Well, crinkly skirts are always in fashion. I mean, gypsy dresses are totally tragic. But I reckon you could totally rock the boho chic vibe. I hope they're happy to you. I'm just... I'm so annoyed with myself. I promised I wouldn't let this get in the way again. Yes. I will make it up to you, Dad. You won't tell him I've been upset, will you? Oh, no. Right, tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. Fresh start. We say that all the time, sticks out. <laughs> so, how come Anna dropped out at the last minute? Like I said, she don't feel well. <laughs> don't give me that bull. I saw her in the cafe late afternoon. She was fine. I honestly don't know. Can't work it out these days. Yeah, well, relationships can be a minefield, can't they? I feel like I'm walking on eggshells all the time. She does nothing but find fault. Can't be easy to live like that. Sometimes I wonder what we're doing still together. <sighs> it's the constant rejection. That's the hard bit. Stupid woman. She doesn't realise how lucky she is. Poppy's always been a total nightmare. She wants all to watch the lovers' room in our bare feet. What's in Levin's room? Boyfriend. All yeah, right, say hello to Kevin. Get yourselves upstairs. Supposed to be a breath free zone. Come on. Hey, Kevin. All right. All right my bud. I don't want to hear another peep. All right, I'll uh, get off myself. You no, know, you can't bail. Nice no, still young. No, I've got to check on Anna. Yeah, of course, yes. Yeah, sorry. Look, send her love, yeah? Yeah, I will do. Thanks, Anna. Thanks for a great night. Cheers, mate. Let me sort this. Well, uh, let's get together again soon. Good night. Good night. Cheers, everyone. Please, raise a glass to me and my lady wife-to-be. Yeah, you can all get saved up for our wedding presents. <laughs> oh, look at her. She can't stop smiling. Mm, she's sunk her claws back into her sugar daddy. She must be cocker who No, oh, come tomorrow, she'll be swanning round that factory like she owns the place. Which, of course, warns the marriage, she will. Because then what's his will be hers. <sighs> Lucky cow. Oh, we better get on to the venue. Tell him it's back on. I've done it. And it's still free, thankfully. That's a relief. I've been more than our instructions about catering and what have you, so we're back on track. You are amazing. Aren't I? Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad they've sorted the differences. Yeah, thanks for your help. You've been a star. No, oh, don't be daft. You can talk to me any time. You know what? You and Zidane should come over some food. I'll whip up a stir-fry. Sounds good. <laughs> I am so glad you told me to speak to him. I mean, you took your time, right? But nobody's perfect. Well, someone had to get you two talking. Honestly, he's his own worst enemy. Yeah, it was sweet of him to try and protect me, but you needn't have bothered. We can manage it. I hope so. One day, I might end up needing full-time care. Could be in for a real tough ride. This is going to set her back. Just when she was starting to feel a bit better about herself as well. Well, there must be more evidence. There must be. Thank you. Well, yes, you would think, wouldn't you? The police seem to think that Nathan's probably done something like this before. I just don't understand why she won't talk to the police again. It's so frustrating. There must be so much more evidence she could give them. You don't think she's protecting him, do you? She loved him so deeply. No, honestly, I don't. All that's gone now. She knows he was using her. She was one of many. She's so young, Sarah. It's amazing she found the strength to speak out at all. No. When I was raped, I felt so humiliated. I couldn't talk to anyone. Is there anyone in particular she can confide in? Apart from you? <sighs> yes, actually, there is. There was a really lovely sergeant who visited us, and he was called Neil. He was just really patient, you know, kind and that. Well, 
There you go. He might be a missing link. <laughs> yeah, so maybe if I could persuade him to dig a bit deeper, then who knows what he could come up with. If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information. Stay with us this Friday night on ITV. We're with Riggs and Myrtle one more time for US drama Lethal Weapon. <laughs>